Good morning, starshine. Your says hello. We twinkle above us. We twinkle below. Hi, everybody. A little acapella. A little uh, good morning, starshine from Oliver. I think I sang that recently, but I'm trying to think of an appropriate morning song. And what could be better than good morning, starshine? I blast that song when I need a little boost. It's so good. It's Laura T at Dream Deals 123 on eBay. And the Dream, and I'm a Dream Deal, I, I don't know, I'm on drugs. Uh, I just had my hip replaced. <laughs> you know who I am. Or maybe you don't. You're like, what is this eBay person? Who is she? Well, I had a hip replacement and uh, I just had some time here. I got nothing else to do. I thought I would make a video you everything that's been going on lately well it has been a roller coaster to say the least uh, let me tell you what happened so my the replacement the hip and my hip replacement was scheduled for yesterday um at november 20th and they called me the day before and they said they had to cancel it because there was a trauma injury that had to happen he had to repair that and he just didn't have time to do it or whatever so I was really upset because I just wanted to get it done and they weren't, and they said they could do it in two weeks. So I really didn't want to wait two more weeks to have it done. You know, you just get it in your head that you just want to get it done. And uh, then they called, so I, and my, and my sister Andrea is, was, was, had a plane flight coming out that day to help me. So I was like, cancel your flight, change it to the fourth. Luckily she had like a, a change, she had paid for the change thing. So we're like, okay, we can change it. So. I get it all in my head that it's uh, not happening. And then they call me the next morning, the girl that I had talked to. And she's like, I could tell how upset you were. And I talked to them and I pulled some strings and I did this and I did that and you're on again. I was so happy, so happy. I call my sister. I'm like, can you change it back now? And she couldn't get the exact same day and we had to pay a change fee and everything, but I really wanted her out here. So she changed it back and she was supposed to come in again tomorrow. Thursday night so then they call me again at five o'clock the night before the surgery and I'm thinking okay they're calling to schedule the time because they usually call the night before and she um she says I'm waiting for her to say yeah come in at 10 in the morning and she says I'm sorry that girl shouldn't have done that or said that we can't get you in I like you this is nuts I see my sister's coming in and you know, this is not right. This is like, you shouldn't put this kind of stress on people. I was, I was pretty upset. Um, but I was like, well, what are you going to do? So I call my sister. I'm like, Andrea, you're not going to believe this. And I'm calling all my friends. I had like car. I usually pay cards on Wednesdays. So I kept sending them notes. I'm playing. I'm not playing. I'm playing. And, you know, they're all sending me notes and everybody. So the whole community is like knowing what's going on. And, um, so my sister says to me, she says, I'm not going to change my flight. She goes, this is crazy. I'm going to wait till tomorrow just to see what happens. Seven o'clock at night, they call me. They had a cancellation. <laughs> They're like, do you still want this? I'm like, yes, let's get it done. <laughs> Holy cow. So we had it done. It went well. I'm, it was supposed to be discharged the same day, but I had something called a nerve block and, um, my knee it usually they said I was like well how is that going to change anything he's like well you may it may uh not wear off for a few hours and you may have to stay a little longer at the hospital and which I was thinking it was the same day but it just is still numb like when I touch my knee I feel like it's coming back a little bit right now but it's you can like you could put a pin in it and I wouldn't feel it it's pretty pretty numb so Hopefully it wears off today. The nurse said she thinks it will, um, but I can't stand on it at all. I mean, it like buckles, so I can't. They don't let you go until you can walk with your walker and go and use the bathroom and stuff. Um, so anyways, that's where I'm here. I'm here at uh, Lynchburg General Hospital. They've been great, just super. Um, everybody has been just so great and I'm not in any pain. I mean, I'm on massive amounts of painkillers and then this nerve block and everything. So um, 
hopefully I won't have much pain. My sister said she didn't have any pain, so, uh, so that's good. So I will be here probably for, I don't know, expecting to get out sometime today, I hope. I uh, put my eBay store on hold uh, on vacation time for two weeks, and maybe I will be able to do some when I get home, but uh, I'm just giving myself a break. My sister is coming in tomorrow. <laughs> I'm very happy about that. And my daughter, Bethany, has been helping me and I've had lots of support from the community. I've got lots of people to help, which I really, really appreciate. And um, so things are going. I just wanted to give you an update and I don't know when I will be uh, making it again, but probably pretty soon, because even if I don't do eBay, uh, I can just get on and say hello and tell you how I'm doing. How's that? So like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's something about eBay. If you're new here, you usually talk about some eBay and then I just ramble on. But this has just been an update on my uh, on my hip replacement surgery. It went well. I'll see you in the next one.